So last video, it was 37 degrees. I was fishing for bluegill. Today, it's five days later. It's 59 degrees right now, 10 a.m. Let me just double check that weather. Come on. Let's see what the weather says right here. Let's see. Come on. Hourly. Right now, it's 60 degrees. In an hour, it's going to be 65, moving up to 68, 70, 71. Tapping out at 71 at 2 p.m. So since it's been five days of warm weather, and it's been in the 40s before that, or 30s, my theory is that the fish are going to be active in this pond, even though it's a bigger pond than I usually fish uh, when it's this cold. So let's get out on the boat, the kayak, and see if I can make anything happen today. I don't care if I catch black crappie, yellow perch, sunfish, bass, any one of those are going to be acceptable. Let's get out on the boat. Oh, well, I'm trying some different angles. I wonder if these angles are going to pick anything up. This one looked amazing. I'm not sure now, though. Look how glassy it is. The last two days, 15 to 17 mile an hour wind. Gusts of 25. I can see some movement over here. But that back part of this pond looks absolutely slick. I am very excited right now. This is my first outing on the kayak this year. So, one, we're going to see if my weld, my plastic weld, holds up. I'm going to smoke some devil's lettuce. Maybe hit the fish whistle a bunch of times. To the back of the pond. And see if I can catch any black crappie, yellow perch, bluegill, bass. And hopefully not any pickerel. Or like they call them down south, jackfish. No one wants to watch me pedal, so. Mmm. Typically, this pond likes soft plastics. So I'm gonna see if, I don't know, this works at all. What I got going on right now is a 15 pound braid, 10 pound fluoro. I got a two aught wide gap hook with a Berkeley General in black. The Max Scent. Typically, if it doesn't hit immediately, I just toss it right back out. Texas rig, no weight. Tossing it shallow, seeing if anything wants it. Nothing. What I'm doing is I'm fishing history, which you shouldn't do. But I'm uh, I'm a novice, so I don't care. I'll toss it over to his island. Not gonna wait very long. Oh God, it's all squigged. That's right, I stole that. So I make sure my worm is nice and straight. Ah, I am not hooked to my finger like I just did. I'm gonna try to cast to the slack water. There we go. Put that down. What I'm doing right now is I'm watching my line. Seeing if it gets tight. I'm anchored too, so I'm not blowing around. Even though there's only a couple mile an hour winds right now. Not like yesterday or the day before. That's why I didn't come out. Nothing. It's pretty warm air temp. I think early next week is going to be a jam. Let's toss it out. Look at that log. One of the reasons I like fishing the side of catching fish is using my gear. I like sitting on the water. It's just relaxing. No one else is out here. It's very serene, almost meditative. The possibility for some crazy action. But most of the time, I'm just kind of chilling on the water, taking it easy, keeping it clean, like my dad likes to say. Cast out there for no reason. So far, my anchor wizard is working pretty good. Sweet. It's my first day out, so I'm probably gonna throw absolutely everything, including the kitchen sink at these fish. So it's probably not the best approach. Because I know for a fact, from watching other ding-dongs on YouTube, it's chatter baits, spinner baits, big swim baits, which I have as well. All these lures, I brought them all with me. Probably took me an hour and a half to rig everything up and 
get it situated in my rig. And that's because I didn't plan ahead like I told you guys I was going to. These geese, though, huh? There's just two of them, huh? Honking at each other? It's annoying. Stupid Canadian geese. Going off Facebook posts, a lot of people in my area have been catching them in five to ten feet of water. And this pond is probably eight feet deep. So they could literally be anywhere, but a lot of them said shallow. So I'm kind of focusing on that. Cast it near that dock to my right. It's 1123. Why was that out? Hour and a half. Nobody. Oh, I'm working on my base stand. It's good. Let's see if I can get it in there before I get over there. my first bass not a super big fella but I caught one <laughs>